So what's the difference between pyramidal and extrapyramidal disorders? The pyramidal disorders are due to a lesion in the motor neuron that have their cell bodies in the motor cortex area 4 and the association area 6. Whereas the extrapyramidal disorders occur in the motor neuron that lie outside the motor cortex or association area in the cerebral hemisphere. The pyramidal tracts are the direct corticospinal tract and innervate the anterior horn cells of the spinal cord directly. Whereas extrapyramidal tracts are the indirect to a spinal cord and they are the corticobulbospinal tract. The pyramidal tract control the fine movement and con and cause controlled inhibition of the movements. Function of the extrapyramidal is maintaining posture, proprioception and stretch reflexes. The pyramidal disorders affect distal muscles, extrapyramidal affects proximal muscles and the axial muscles. The pyramidal cause affects the anti-gravity muscles, the flexors of the upper limb and extensors of the lower limb whereas extra pyramidal equally affects both agonist and antagonist muscles. The pyramidal disorders are velocity dependent whereas extra pyramidal are not velocity dependent and resistance is equally present throughout the mo movement and does not vary with the speed of movement. The examples of pyramidal disorders are class 9 frigidity and clonus where the example of extrapyramidal disorders is lead pipe or cogwheel rigidity in Parkinson's disease. In pyramidal disorder, there is a spastic gait, and this is due to the hemorrhage in the posterior limb of the internal capsule, or due to cervical myelopathy, or due to decorticate spasticity. Whereas in extrapyramidal disorder, there is shuffling gait, as occur in Parkinson's disease and there is difficulty in stopping and starting. The Babinski sign is positive in pyramidal disorders and negative in extrapyramidal disorder. That is it's abnormal in pyramidal disorders and normal in extrapyramidal disorders. The superficial reflexes are absent in pyramidal disorders where they are present in extrapyramidal disorders.